In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the concentric myth, one of the most used myths in assemblies. So, for using the concentric myths, we should have some circular surfaces and cylindrical surface to make this myth to work. We have the spin, paper spin, made in the SolidWorks tutorial channel. So, we'll use them to create our concentric myth. So if you want to do to make this product, you can find it in the you can find a tutorial how to make it in the SolidWorks tutorial channel. So let's start a new assembly. Okay. And as we said, because we have the parts is already open, you will see their parts are here. So you did need to browse for them. So let's insert this part, insert component, the cap. So in this tutorial will be combination between the concentric mate and also the coincident mate. So let's select this cylinder to make it in the center of that cylinder. So you can click on that surface, mate, and the second surface you have this surface let's select so now you have the concentric relation is automatically selected because logically it is working here so when you are done click ok so this is one way to use the concentric but as you notice this part is not it is moving but concentric to that cylinder so let's just delete that mid and show you another way to create that mid. Also, let's select this time the circular edge, this edge only, and then let's activate the mid and then select that circular circular. So again, you will be able to select the concentric, and then click OK. So you have to choose to select surface, cylindrical surface, circular edge, or both together. So now you have these mids are concentric together. And this part is moving. You can add another relations to fix that part as we learned in the previous tutorial the con consident relation so we select that surface and the second surface can be the bottom surface here so we have the consident made selected okay so now we have our product is ready so this part is not moving anymore so in this way this product is ready.